What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lozelle and today's video is going to be all about my March favorites. I'm pretty much just going to be showing you guys a bunch of makeup products as well as miscellaneous items that I've been loving for the past month. If you do happen to be new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video I post. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Anyway, now that that's all out of the way, let's get on to the favorites. Those of you guys who watch my channel regularly would know that I did get my braces on back in February. So March was actually the first full month that I've had my braces on, if that makes sense. And so far, so good, guys. Like, I'm loving life with my braces. I love how they look on me. Like, I actually, low-key, they make me feel more confident. It's really weird. Like, you think that I would feel very self-conscious with them on, but I'm just like really just loving my look with the braces. <laughs> I actually do go in for my first appointment since getting them on this coming Wednesday. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'm really keen for that. I'm actually really looking forward to it. But the reason why I'm talking all about my braces is because the first product that I have to show you guys is this. Let me just grab it because it's actually quite heavy. Oh, I don't want to knock anything over. Alrighty, so this is it here. You're probably like, what the hell is that? <laughs> this is a water pig, guys. I know it looks like some type of like water filter or something strange, but this is actually a water pick. And if you don't know what a water pick is, basically I use it to floss my teeth. What you do is fill this bad boy up with water and this thing is a thing that flushes everything out from in between your teeth. Guys, flossing is so important. Like if you don't floss, what are you doing with yourself? Flossing every day is a must. And I learned that the hard way because I, before, this is before I got my braces on, I would only floss like once or twice a week because I was just lazy. And I totally paid the price for that because TMI, but I did have a couple of like things that I needed to get filled in. And if you don't know, going to the dentist is really, really expensive. So I invested in this because this actually helps me floss my teeth every single night. Those of you guys who have had braces on before know how irritating it is to try and floss in between each tooth with those traditional floss strings. But this thing makes everything a hundred times easier. Like I recommend, even if you don't have braces, invest in a water pick. It's gonna be the best money that you ever spent. I actually picked mine up from Chemist Warehouse. I did pay $115, I believe. But if you do buy this from typical department stores, they retail for closer to $200. So I would totally recommend going to Chemist Warehouse for those of you who are here in Australia. Um, but yeah, this is from the brand Waterpick and no joke, best 115 bucks I ever spent and I would recommend for you all to get one of these. You can get more travel friendly ones, but I was just like, nah, we're gonna go balls out. We're gonna get the best one that we can get. And this is it right here. So I love this thing. I use, like I've literally used it every single night and it totally has made flossing my teeth a hundred times easier. Like I cannot stress that enough. So yes, this has been my number one favorite for the month. Moving on to another product that has something to do with teeth. I have a teeth whitener to show you guys. And yes, I know you're probably thinking, eh, but this is, different this is different guys like hear me out before you skip forward or close this video so yes this is a teeth whitener but it's actually a natural teeth whitener which is what kind of drew me towards it so let me just open it up because you guys are gonna be like what it looks like there's nothing in there but literally in here is charcoal like charcoal powder i know you guys are probably thinking like what are you doing brushing your teeth with charcoal powder something within this mixture this formula helps to whiten your teeth, it pulls the stains off your teeth. And you best believe that I'm all about my coffee. Like I cannot go a day without my coffee. <laughs> Do you guys like my extra mug? I just wanted to show you guys. But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I'm all about my coffee. I love me some coffee. So the fact that I got braces and coffee, like those two, they don't really correlate and go together. So I needed something that was going to help keep my teeth the shade that they were without being like too bad on my teeth, if that makes sense. Because obviously I can't use whitening strips before I got my braces on. I did in fact use whitening strips, but I feel like this is totally better because whitening strips, they tend to miss certain spots on your teeth, I feel. And some of them are very 
abrasive to the teeth surface. Like I feel like they are very intense and they do make your teeth and gums very sensitive after using them. I personally, I don't have sensitive teeth, but I've had friends who have used whitening strips and they're just way too much for them. So I would say that this is definitely something to try. Basically what you do is take your toothbrush, dip it into the black powder and brush your teeth with it. And literally when you're brushing your teeth with this, you end up looking like a pirate because your whole mouth becomes black. CJ's actually used this as well and his teeth, like no shade babe, I love you, but his teeth are like slightly darker in color than mine, they're not as bright or white. So he was totally impressed when he used this and his teeth became much more brighter and whiter. So this has totally been a lifesaver for me because with braces, I feel like when I got them on, I was like, whoa, why do my teeth look not as white as they looked before? I feel like I thought they were going to look whiter because of the metal but in turn it actually made them look a little darker so the fact that I'm able to use this whilst I have my braces on is amazing because it keeps them looking clean and white and fresh and yeah I've really been liking this alrighty all of the teeth stuff is out of the way so we're gonna move on to the makeup products so this right here this is the house of lashes lash glue I realized this month that this is actually a favorite of mine. Like I can't live without these and I will not use any other brand of lash glue anymore. Call me a snob. Like, yes, I'm a lash glue snob, but I honestly can't live without these. And I've run out of this one. This is the clear adhesive and it's pretty much done its day. Like it's pretty much empty. I've had to resort to using the black one lately because this one is out. So I typically only wear this when I have like a winged liner on or like a dark lash line because obviously it is black. So it is going to help intensify that and it kind of blends into the liner. Whereas this clear one, Oh, I loved using this on the days where I just slap on some Ardell Wispies. You guys know that I'm obsessed with those lashes. And yeah, this literally will hold your lashes on through anything. I can't stress that enough. Like, I feel like this is low-key a little bit better than this one. I just feel like this one is a little more adhesive, if that makes sense. Even though they're both the same, just the only difference is the color. Something about this one just gets me, it gets me. Next up, I have a skincare product to show you guys. This is the Karuna Hydrating Sheet Face Mask. I've been obsessed with this. I've actually been obsessed with it for a while now, but I always forget to show it in my favorites videos. So I was like, nah, this month, everybody needs to know about this, especially because here in Australia, we are going into the cooler months, although it doesn't really feel like it because it's hot and humid every single day. But this, face mask though, like this face mask though. I actually discovered this while I was on Accutane because obviously my skin was super dehydrated, dull and dry. So I would use this at least once a week and oh, it helps my skin so much. Now that I've gotten my oil production back because I'm not on Accutane anymore, my skin obviously is way more oily. But in saying that, I still love to use this. I feel like a lot of people think that if their skin is oily, they shouldn't gravitate towards hydrating products. But in reality, the reason as to why your skin can be so oily is because it's yearning for that hydration. So what happens is your skin in turn produces more oils to try and help compensate for that lack in moisture within it. So I feel like even though you do have oily skin, adding hydration to your skin is a must because that really does help to reduce oil production in my opinion and that's what I've been told by estheticians and whatnot so yes I've been loving the Karuna face mask if you live here in Australia you can pick this up from Mecca it's only 11 bucks next up I have an oldie but a goodie to show you guys and you're probably gonna be like why would you include that in your favorites but for real I've been using this pretty much every single day this month I don't know why I just this is it here, you all know what this is, MAC Fix Plus. I've been using this every single day, especially when I wanna pack on that highlighter. I will go ahead and spray this over it. Literally, it helps it melt into the skin and amps it up times 100, your highlighter is popping, it's glowing. But yeah, I just had to throw this into my favorites because I've been using this every single day. It's actually not a setting spray. A lot of people do think that it's a setting spray, it kind of, like it doesn't set the makeup, it does not make your makeup last longer. It's purely just to help your powders and makeup kind of settle into the skin better and sit better on the skin. But I mean, it's nice just to spray it in your face, especially when it's a hot day. I have a feeling that a lot of you guys will guess what this next product is. 
It's a highlighter, and it's not just one highlighter, it's six. So you all know what this is. This is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually did film my first impressions on this on my channel. I'll leave a link to that video if you guys are interested. And oh my goodness, guys, like this is way better than I was ever expecting it to be. You guys will see in my reaction to this for the first time that I was impressed. And I'm actually wearing it today, so... That's why my highlighter is just so amped. Today I'm wearing a mixture of Glow Getter 143 and Forever Young. Yes, I like to mix these. I used to never be about that life. I used to not like mixing highlighters, but something about this palette, guys, I feel like it works better when you mix multiple shades together. So I've been using this so much and I do find that there is a little bit of kickback within these powders. Like there is a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you guys can tell, but on my palette, like there is some like powder kind of sitting on the surface. So that's where this comes in handy because this really does help the powder settle into the skin. And I can't use this without this. I feel like these are a match made in heaven. Next up, I have a bronzer to show you guys. I actually discovered this at the very end of February, I believe. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. There are actually two shades available for this bronzer. I feel like not everybody is aware of that. So there's the light bronzer and then just bronzer bronzer. I'm assuming that's what it's called. I do have the bronzer bronzer and I actually used this for the first time in a makeup tutorial and I was shook like actually shook i'm wearing it today and you all know those of you who watch my channel regularly would know that i'm obsessed with mac give me sun like that bronzer is my ride or die i've actually nearly finished a whole compact can you believe that i've nearly finished like yeah i can believe it because i use it every day but this thing though like i've been using this so much this month i do love mac give me sun because i personally really do like that really warm bronzy type of look but this one isn't as orange if you get what i'm saying and it glides on glides on effortlessly i i'm obsessed with it like i can't say that enough and this thing smells amazing guys like i wish you guys could smell this like i wish I just wish you could smell it. It smells so good. It smells like coconut lotion or something. Just amazing. And it's drugstore. Although Physicians Formula is a little bit more up there in terms of price when it comes to drugstore products. I like, I feel like everybody needs this, especially if you are the same skin tone as me. You're gonna love this, I guarantee. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> we are down to the last product, you guys. And this product is actually something I only just discovered the other day. Well, I actually discovered it weeks ago, but I only got them for myself just the other day. So these are the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I actually did recently film a full review and swatch video on these. These are just the two that I picked out to show you guys, but I do have quite a few different shades of these. And if you guys have been wondering, yes, I'm wearing one of these on my eyes today. I'm wearing the shade Kitten Karma, that glitter though, like I'm obsessed with the glitter. You guys, like you need to go and watch my review video on these because you're going to see how like hyped I get about them, like I'm just really excited. These recently came out for us over here in Australia. You can find them at Mecca Maxima. For those in the US, I'm pretty sure you can get them from like Ulta, don't know if Sephora sells them, or of course the Stila Cosmetics website. I had to get mine off the Stila Cosmetics website and get them sent to me through a shipping service because unfortunately, every Mecca Maxima and the even the Mecca Maxima online store is completely sold out of these. Like that's how popular they are. So I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on them because I'm actually obsessed. Like I didn't need these. I definitely didn't need these, but I feel like wherever there's glitter, like you'll find me. I, I live for a good glitter. So let me just show you guys because I can't show you guys this without giving it a swatch. So that's the shade that I'm currently wearing on my eyes right now, Kitten Karma. Ugh. I'm obsessed that sparkle though, like I can't get over how pigmented and how intense that sparkle is. And then I'll just quickly swatch the other one. This is Bronze Bell. Oh yes, give it to me, I'm obsessed. So yes, I've been loving these and I swear to God, if I could wear these every single day, like if I could go out like this every single day, I totally would. So if you guys are wondering on the price of these, these retail for, I believe, 
34 Australian dollars and in the US they're 22. I know that's really, really expensive for like one item, but I totally feel like these are worth it, especially if you're doing your own makeup for prom or some type of formal occasion and you really want that something to just like amp it up, amp it up, amp it up. This is like what you need. Honestly, this is what you need. I'm actually going to a wedding tomorrow and I'm gonna be wearing one of these, so I'm pretty excited. I'm already thinking about waking up and doing my makeup for the wedding, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so those are all of my favorites. Those are all of the products that I've been loving for the past month of March. What I want you guys to do is comment down below and let me know what you've been loving for March because I'm really interested to see what everybody else has been into and what you've been using so that I can perhaps go out and pick something up to try for myself. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I will leave a list of everything I talked about throughout the video down below in the description box where you can also find all of my social media details such as Twitter, Instagram and Snappy. You can find all of that good stuff down below. With all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.